As I'm sitting here in Vindavan, it becomes very clear. Genuine spiritual insights are given to those persons who have become mature. The process of maturation in a spiritual life is something which is undeniable. I would like to give a traditional example for this. Uh, mangoes are picked when they are still not fully mature. They are put in a little house where layer after layer of leaves are piled upon them and then while maturing they develop a certain heat mm, which matures them even more so that they become extremely sweet, juicy and yellow in outer appearance. In the same way, a person comes to spiritual life and he is not yet perfect. Uh, he enrolls in a process of maturation. This is just like applying heat uh, to the uh, fresh and young mango. Then, as the heat, so to say, increases in his life, uh, oh, he comes to a state where he is extremely, I don't want to say sweet, but where he is just ready, uh, full of compassion, full of love, uh, full of uh, direct experiences in bhakti, etc. Then that person is relishable for Krishna and can meet the Lord. What exactly is the process of maturation in a spiritual life? Uh, it's the feeling the heat of separation for Krishna. My dear Lord, this world is not satisfying to me any longer. My dear Lord, when I connect really with myself, I can see that without you, all my achievements are not satisfying. I long for you only. This heat of separation, if you so want, which makes the material world uh, uh, appear pale, not so interesting, brings about a very quick maturation. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taught this. According to him, there is no superior process than just feeling, Krishna, uh, I'm needing only you. Uh, may we all become yellow, mm, uh, sweet, juicy, <laughs> tasteful mangoes, mm, and uh, then uh, fit for the transcendental enjoyment of the Lord.